Alrighty. This is for you younger folks. That's always getting bullied. I am sick of it myself. I see it nonstop. But you know what I tell the kids being bullied in person? If you can, and if you can come up with the courage to, take your right fucking hand and bust him right in the fucking mouth. If that doesn't fix it, do it again. Talking about it will not fix it. It will only make things worse. That's what most teachers don't understand. When most kids fight, it's because those little fuckers are being bullied. Even bigger guys get bullied by little people. Some people, some people's lives are so bad when they're being bullied already. It makes them think of suicide. Nobody wants to kill themselves, so don't push it to them. It's not right, and it never will be. I don't know what the hell you all are thinking. Because bullying just ain't fucking right. Yeah, you're going to pick around on your friends. Most people know you're going to mess with them. They know you're having a good time. They're going to have a good time as well. They'll tell you they're having a good time. Like myself. I pick on people. I pick on people because that's my way of saying, Hey, you're cool. I like you. I don't walk up to them and say, Hey, fucker. And all this other shit. I don't push them up against the walls for no damn reason, because they're smaller than me. Hell no. Smaller than me, hell. Join in, we'll have a good time. Hell with it. This bullying shit has got to stop. If you're left-handed, to my message, to my, when I first started, use your fucking left hand then. Beat the hell out of them. Show them that you're not afraid. If you show the bullies you are afraid, that's going to make them want to mess with you even more. If you can stand up for yourself, you will make it farther in life than you will being put in the dumpster all your life. Most people don't quite understand, though. And most people just can't. They can't fight back because they're too small. Well, they just don't know how to fight. Well, they don't really... Well, they have too much of a heart to throw a fist. I've seen it. I've seen it myself. But if you have a friend, have them with you. If you don't have friends, try to make some. I'm about everyone's friend. You're cool with me, I'm cool with you. That's how it is for me. I don't do you wrong, you don't do me wrong. I can be the whole world's friend if you want me to. But, you know... That's not what you're, you're, you're a true friend to me. A true friend is always there for me when I need them. And I'm always there for them. I don't put no one down. If I do, I'll turn that back around. I'll make your day a lot better. If your day is already bad, get a whore to me. I will make you smile to the ends and back. You have no idea. And the things I can do. I've done many things in my life, and yet I'm only 19 years old. I've helped people out. I've brightened people's day by just saying hello, or how are you, by just simply talking to them. They Most people just need somebody to talk to anymore. Most, most kids at home, they're being abused. They're being punished for things they have not done because their parents are alcoholics or their parents have died when there's a bully making fun of a kid that he knows their parents died that's not cool in my opinion if I saw you in person I'd probably whoop your ass because that shit just ain't right the bully but then can most bullies do this because they have nothing they feel better when they bully yeah, there's probably some bullies out there you can talk to. They might call, they might end up being a cool guy. That takes me back to when I say first grow up your fist and throw that some bitch. Don't always take that to first granted. Ask him first. Say, hey, will you quit? I have a tr 
tough time at home or whenever you have your tough times. And you just go to school to have to feel better, to have, make friends. Because when also, most kids anymore, they see a kid being bullied, they're thinking, oh, he's no good. That's not true. That kid being bullied, it's probably the coolest kid in the world. But you got assholes out there to make them look like that. I'm going to bring this up. I'm probably going to see a lot of fucking comments because of it. But Amanda Todd. Yes, she done many things repeatedly wrong. But you know something? She should have not been pushed to the end to where she would want a suicide. There was no fucking need for that. She looked like a cool girl. I mean, hell, she's, if she was around where I lived, hell, she would have been one of my friends. Going out having a lot of fun, taking out some backwoods. Grabbing third gear, holding her to the floor. You know, just having a good old time. But no, you got an asshole, and you still got kids today. Putting comments under her fucking video. That shit just ain't right. This shit needs to come to a stop. This bullying will come to an end. Kids need to realize this. I've used a lot of foul language in this video. But I don't use it because I feel better about say by saying it like that. I say it that way because it makes more sense. I don't cuss for my own needs. I cuss to get a message through. If this message can't get through anyone's minds, then hell, I don't know what will. Yeah, I have sort of like a cold crap going on because my allergies. But I'm still, I'm still going to post this. I don't care what my voice sounds like. I might have the most annoying voice in the world. But you know something? I don't care what other people think about me. Because I'm me. If a boy wants to pick on me, you can guarantee I'm going to stick up for myself. I might be 5'11", 200 some pounds, but more than muscle, I mean, that's not the thing. There are people that can still take me. I know there is. But you can guarantee I'm going to stand there. I'm going to put up one hell of a fight. I'm not putting this message out there to say fight everyone. I'm putting this message out there to stand up for your fucking self. If you need help, ask somebody. But at school, you got somebody bullying you, you don't ask the teachers to take care of it, and all they did was put him in detention or kick him out for a day. He comes back, he bullies on you, you punch that son of a bitch right in the face. That shit just ain't right. Yeah, I might have done some stupid things in my time as well. I mean, there could have been times I could have picked on somebody and it could have hurt them. But that, I wouldn't know it because... They probably didn't show it. And if they would show it, I'd apologize. I never meant to hurt anyone. Unless they try to hurt me first. Even at times when people try to hurt me, at the end, I'll talk to them, try to figure things out. Why the hell did they hurt me first? Because then, in a way that makes me a better person. Trying to figure out why, what's going on. What makes you want to come after me? What did I ever do? I'll tell you what I do. I don't really do much. When I'm at school, I hang out with my friends. I have a great time. People look at me like, oh, he ain't nothing. I don't care. You know why? Because I'm having a good time. I mean, there's a smile on this on my face. And I tell you what, being a smile on your face can aggravate a lot of people that don't like you. Because when they see a smile on your face, they're thinking, I wonder what's on their mind. Because what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to put you down. People try to put me down every day I go to school. Just because the way I look. Just because the way I walk. Or just because the way I talk. But you know something? That's me. No one's the same in this world. No one. No one's the same in the fucking galaxy. And it's true. Even if you have a twin, you guys ain't the same. Your personalities are what makes you you. The things you do is what makes you you. Being someone you're not 
will not get you any friends. If it does, they're not your real friends. Your real friends will like you just the way you are. They don't want you to be somebody else. They want you to be a happy individual. That they know that can bring a smile to their face every day just by seeing you smile. That's another thing. When you smile, a kid that gets bullied, he sees somebody else smile, it makes him want to smile. So, share the smiles. Smiles are contagious. Just like a yawn. When you yawn, they yawn. No matter if they hate you or not, they see you yawn, you bet they're yawning. Yeah, this is the end of my message. Share this thing. Try to help me get this message across. Yeah, it might have been long, but it could help somebody. So please share this message. This message can mean a lot. So please hit the share. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to like. Just share. Please. Thanks for watching. Or listening. I'm sorry if I bored any of you to death, but again, thank you.